Assalamu alaikum folks, it's been a very long while since we've seen y'all. Today I have with me, alhamdulillah, our Commander-in-Chief, Secretary General of the Muslim Coaches Association of Singapore, Amin Yusuf. Hey, Amin, Cham, brother, how are you, man? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, Cham. Um, and as always, if you don't know who I am, my name is Afik from Modern Muslim Finance. Chief Finance Ninja, where we help you with all your Islamic finance needs. So today, topic yang hangat, the hottest thing on the market right now, we're going to be talking about presidential election. Mm -hmm. Three. Yes, the three runners <laughs> in Singapore's presidential election are Taman Chengu Ratnam, Ng Kok Song, and Tan Kin Lian. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more why you laugh, Mr. Amin. Asal ketawa. One, I thought you were lagging. Second, I thought the president election, I think this year, or no, I think this for this election, now, I think it's a little bit um different from, from the ones that we had, right? Because the other one was reserved for only the, the Malays. I think this one was, I think if, if you to see the age, uh, my, my first instinct was this. Wow, they're so old. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, right? I think it's a it's a face of Singapore. It's someone that that needs to, you know, mend or even create diplomatic ties with the other country leaders, right? I think we need someone who's actually, you know, gifted in a sense of um politics and also at the same time someone who is um well respected. Mm. That they can actually take seriously. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, for for, I mean, let, let, let's we'll clear the elephant uh, in the room. Uh, I mean, to to many many people, the obvious choice is Mister Daman, right? Yeah. The obvious choice is is Mister Daman. He's he's well spoken. He's calm. He's collected. Uh, his words have so much power and meaning behind them. You know, he's very thoughtful. He's very mindful. Um, and yeah, people who, who I've known who met him in person, they, they, he's just an all-around nice guy. You know, he remembers you, he addresses you by name. He is he and and he actually I've heard uh gives genuine interest in what you're doing and, and proposes solutions if you if you come to him for help. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he was my MP, MP Jurong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 was my MP for He's my MP. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can um yeah who are you voting for who do you yeah, think i mean they say voting is a secret but i, I honestly don't care this time of age right because the president is someone that to be honest approved bills and all that but but in terms of of actually running the entire company is still left to the cabinet and the ministers right so i find the president is to be the face of singapore someone who shakes hand a lot with other diplomatic leaders so I think it's someone that has to be well known. I mean, Tarman has been around for so many years in, in the political um reign, right? Yeah, he's held so many positions. Yeah, and, and you know, at, at the same time, he's actually the 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 chairman of the IMF, right? At one point in time, I think people already know who he is. Like Tarman, who oh yeah, the guy that runs the IMF used to run the IMF, right? So I mean, at that level, I think people at world stage. There are already people who already know about Tarman. Right? Certainly recognizable. Yeah, exactly. So I think we have to be responsible at the same time putting our countries. I'm not saying putting our country's fate in his hands, but you know, to be the face of the country is still you have to be responsible. You don't want a caterpillar to be the face of your country uh, to, to, to run the face of your <laughs> your, your country, right? You want somebody that you know you can be proud of, you can know that, you know. If left to, to, to be responsible and, when it and comes respectable, to the very guy, respectable guy, yes. Exactly, he is a his tall guy, also, right? Oh, yeah. If you've met him in person, he, he's very, he's got presence. He's got, yeah, presence. He got presence, exactly. I've had a pleasure yeah. of meeting him. Oh, oh, oh. I, think, I think it will help Singapore quite a fair bit because, you know, we are a country with no natural resources, right? Making and having relationships is one of the key factors, yeah. right? We have to make friends. It's better to make friends than make enemies, right? So I think. As far as this election goes, it'll, it'll be fun to see, but I don't I don't think it'll be any contest for him. Yeah. Not so yeah, much. I, I, I think it's skewed towards one. I think, like you said, it's like a logical choice. Yeah. 
right? It's a logical he's choice. Kind of like a favorite. He's like a favorite. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, basically, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So I think apart from all the okay la, the the gutter politics or whatsoever, right? To me, who who truly deserves the position in terms of one, the papers, qualifications, right? Yeah, I think yeah, the other two, I mean, they do have qualification and papers, right? Mm-hmm. Drani GIC and all what so forth, but at the same time, being the deputy prime minister. <laughs> Right. <laughs> he's already known uh at world level so and his track record is, is oh, yeah his track record, like, right it's beautiful portfolio is like it's insane sorry yeah well, the guy i mean like you said singapore has no natural resources um i i what i read this quote a long time ago singapore uh ex- what does singapore export and the quote was singapore exports standards like we export yep. standards. You put a Singaporean into anywhere, any location, you know that there is a high standard of work, a high standard of, of you know, culture, of, of certain behavior. You know, that's the Singaporean standard. And when we talk about, for example, Mr. Taman, man, my God, that guy, he set the bar so, so high. Exactly, exactly. I think if, for me, right, even if I have Taman as my, I mean, president, I mean, it's something that I can be proud of, like, at yeah. the same time, you know, we are, we are not being feeling nonchalant and all so forth. Yeah, you, know, you, you think about it, you think about this, like, Singapore has no natural resources, but you know, when I spoke to a friend of mine who studies in the US, right, he said this, you know, we are, quote unquote, expected to be good at math, expected to be good in science, not just Asia, but when here in Singapore, right, we are very good at studying. Yes. Yes, we are. It comes to mugging, we're number one. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Please look at my paper. Oh my God. You know, in, in my day job, you know, paper qualifications, apparently in all the colleagues I have, I have like 19 different certifications. I'm like, yeah, you can study. Yeah, <laughs> we're Asian, you can study. But yeah, I think having, having you know, Taman as uh, the future president, inshallah, eh, if he gets it, um, I think it's a feather in, in Singapore's cap. You know? Uh, yeah. Exactly. It will be good for our reputation. It will be good for our respectability. And I mean, he's he is such a fantastic statesman. You know, well, I just imagine him just going to all the different countries and you know, in his measured spoken voice, eloquent, yeah. eloquent with that with that gravitas, with that with that um present. You know, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't have to be aggressive about it. Yeah. You know, he's got that magical. Uh, quality of putting on a podium, putting on a stage. The moment he opens his mouth, everybody's like, oh. "Yeah, right, right, right." I, I would even, yeah, right, right, you know, right. almost, almost um compare him to to Barack Obama. Oh yes, yes, right. He's got yeah. this same quality, right, right. same caliber. You know that level where this man just commands respect. You know, you just want. Yeah, to there respect. are certain people, right? Where you just see like, yes, this I'll guy. follow. <laughs> No, no need to do anything for me, I will follow you. Right. Yeah, 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 right. I mean, and using. I don't know putting out the other contestants also, right? But I was said this by a friend of ours, Vina, right? Uh, one of the, 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 the president elect, I mean, in the, the election, right? Hmm. And he, he says this like the Malays has a favorite color, it's green. <laughs> okay, so. You can't talk about exactly. Mr. Tan without talking about <laughs> Mr. Tan. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Tan, Mr. Tan, they talk about Mr. Ng. Okay? I don't know, man. I want to <laughs> say this up front. Part of me is a little bit scared of the power of the troll vote. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, yes. ah, what's the worst that happened? Ha ha ha. I'm just going to see what happens. You know? And then next thing you know, boom, he's got a large amount of it. Yeah, and he'll be the face of our country. He, the, his photos will be hanged at institutions. Can you imagine that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was actually flabbergasted when I saw the video. Uh, yeah, he was at like, Gelang Sarai or something, right? And saying like, uh, our, our mom, Malay friends, their favorite color is green. That, I mean, it became a parody uh, that the guy made, right? So we like Starhub, we like the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, banana, 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 banana leaf. 
Basically, Wang Kao Ijo came from Malaysia at the same time, by the way. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it's easier you're right. You're right. Throw votes cannot be played. I think, like, countries like Singapore, right, where there's a younger generation where, you know, they don't understand the true implications of their, their political choice, right? Uh, it may or may not lah. Uh, if, if depending if they there's the 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 majority of them have that kind of mindset. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Until we are learned enough, we are being taught in school enough to not be dumb with our votes, right? Because it impacts our life in a way or another. Everybody, Maybe. your vote matters. Okay, your vote matters. Okay, you might not think that, oh, it's only one vote. Oh, it's, only, it's only one vote. Hey, the drop of water, never thought it could be part of a tsunami. Yep. Exactly. Uh, wow. tsunami. Uh, the drop of water, never thought it would be part of a tsunami. So never forget that. So our votes are so, so important. Please don't spoil mm. your votes. Please don't just anyhow I mean, vote. Who would you say as, as people, people are running the business, right? I mean, now where it's already like after the pandemic itself, right? We need more exposure to the world. We need more opportunity to sell. Why not be the one that innovate that change or create that change? And let me Singapore to be a country. Hey, you're from Singapore? Oh, I like to do business with you. I don't have to worry, right? Yeah. You know? There's that reputation, our own reputation, yeah. our own brand. Especially considering a few of us business owners here and there. We do do business across the border, you know, and we have online presences. And then people, I don't want to come to a case where, you know, I meet somebody from, you know, another country and they're like, oh, you're Singaporean. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> huh? right? Maybe I'll do business, maybe standard. not. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, like, exactly. I, years ago, I go to, I go, I go, I went to Australia or was it mm. Europe one day and somebody, oh, you're Singaporean. We call you. And I, yeah, they, 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 oh, yeah, right? yeah, exactly, exactly. I heard that before. Yeah, the oh, reputation, yeah. you know, it's, it just impacts us for so long. So, exactly. the, the, I, I mean, we are, we are in a country that like really has no natural resources. Imagine if we are being defamed or, you know, it's detrimental to even our livelihood itself. For a country that has nothing, how are we going to survive with nothing? <laughs> our money is not going to get us to X, then we still need to figure out how to get how to, to, to you know get money how to how to actually increase our with the recent you know the the results and all that right mm -hmm. they, they they actually um give some um I will kind give some light shed some light to our results right to the community I think it, it, it itself an important stance to understand that for a country that has nothing to create Mm. Like uh, we are suing high billions to trillions, right? It's still not an easy feat. You yeah. still need to the intellect. Because I myself is like I know I'm not the intellectual enough to run a country, mm. right? I, I think I don't have the 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 intellect to actually make that kind of decisions that oh will, will impact millions and millions. And I don't have that kind of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. as in, if you put into perspective of things, right? We as an individual Singaporean are responsible for a greater purpose. Yes. Each of us contribute, right? As much as we whine and dine about, about CPFs and all of that, if no CPF, then what? Yeah. Then what? All of us will be spending yeah. our money and then kind of retire. Yeah, exactly, right? And our that's the that's the reason why the the public housing is getting more and more expensive, right? Yeah. Uh we cannot you know, say no to those things. You know, say, nah, it's okay, I gave you free. One dollar, one house. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work, right? When we talk about what does Singapore have, I mean, the, the word asset always comes to mind. And our, our mm. reputation as Singaporeans is clearly an asset, right? Number one, mm. repu uh, reputation. The biggest asset that any Singaporean has is the fact that you are Singaporean. You know, that asset, mm. uh, that reputational asset, number one. And, and you talk about the reserves, that's also another asset that we've had uh, that's been built up and protected over, over generations, right? It has, yeah. has been built up and, and we have to talk about Mr. Ng for a bit, right? Uh, he, he helped with, with GIC, he helped to build the reserves and I saw a clip of him talking about yeah. how and why the reserves need to remain secret and he's, he's absolutely right. You know, we, yes, we don't yes. need to share this information out there because I think the term was economic warfare. You, you exactly, don't want, you want trillion, right? 
Uh, yeah. I'll do what it takes to make sure you collapse at one trillion. Yeah. Then they can, you know, they can start having statistics and all that, right? Yeah. Oh. We don't want this information out in the world simply because then the world can manipulate us. You know, and, yeah. and, and you know, to be honest, Singaporeans don't understand that Singapore is a price taker, not a price giver. Mm. And that's a very different, that is a very important distinction to make. Yeah. Like we don't ask, can I get can 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 we get this price? No, we just go to other country, how much you want to sell us, they sell at that price, and we have to say yes. Yeah. To them, it's like, no, go away then. Right? And, and it, that's when not we negotiate price. that power, our yeah. negotiating power comes from our reputation, it comes from you know the, the, the reserves that we have, it comes in with so many other things that it's not just that other countries may have that we do. You know, we don't have that mm. cloud that, that power um that the other bigger countries may necessarily have. I mean on that note, you talk about CPF, we talk about uh assets that we have. I mean CPF is one of the biggest assets yeah. that we still have, yeah. apart from the yeah. exactly. You're right, you're right. I mean it, it, to be honest, right? When people think it doesn't affect them, no, it affects every Singaporean at every level. It affects the men at the top, the people running businesses, the students, the mom, the dads, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to get affected because when it comes to economy, nobody is actually above it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we have to, to be serious in, 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 in who we want as a leader, right? And yeah. we have to make smart choices and not emotional choices itself. I'm not going to, to, to you know, preach for another party whatsoever, but I mean, we have to understand about credibility, mm. are those people better than you? Because I'd rather have people smarter than me to run the country. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you can spot a mistake that they make and you know you can rectify and they are not rectifying it, something is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. it's alarming. La. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, these people have spent years and years and years. They've got experience, they've yeah. got credentials, they've they've run, you know, uh big organizations, they've made policy. And if mm -hmm. they see things, and I'm sure they see things we don't see. You know yes, I mean? exactly. They have then, more information than us. You know, we are mere mortals. Yeah, we are mortals, yes. Yeah, mortals, bro. But so, so between, between, yeah, let's talk about it. For, for, for me personally, between uh, Mr. Taman and Mr. Ng, I'm like, who, who do I go for? For me, my heart, because, you know, Jurong, Jurong, just you know, the, uh, West side, West side. Heart, you know? <laughs> so for me, it's a, a bit more on the emotional side, you know, where... Uh, familiarity, I, familiarity, uh, right? Familiarity, you know, I would rather go uh, for somebody I've, I've known. I literally, like, grew up there, you know, so it's like, ah, oh, Mr. Tom, yeah, you're right, yeah, he's right. Poster. <laughs> and then now yeah. having him as, as the, the uh, one of the runners in the PE presidential election, like, my heart just, oh, okay. you know, so no, he actually, I still remember when I was in primary school long ago, he was actually the, the education minister. I still oh. remember, but he was actually the education minister. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about so that. So long ago, 20 years, yeah, ago. We, 20 years ago, bro, but you're right. Hmm, sorry? More than 20 years ago. Yeah, it's long, such a long, long time. But yeah, about 30 years ago. For hmm. <laughs> so those of you who are watching, now you roughly know how old we are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, for you, it comes from familiarity. I mean, for me, uh, I like to now play this card that uh, my MP is probably the future Prime Minister. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's been. <laughs> and then and, and we shall see. We yeah. shall see. So we'll we see about that election. I will have another episode about yeah. that election. Uh -huh. so I think uh, for me, I like say that if you are voting based on, on familiarity, I'm voting based on who I see are up there. Mm. And to be honest, it's quite easy. Because it's like he he's better by leaps and bounds. Yes. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, it's uh, like a complete package. I, I I've been a customer of NTUC income for donkey years. You know, my <laughs> parents bought NTUC income. So when we talk about Mr. Tan, sometimes you get the letter with his name. So I, <clears throat> there yeah. is familiarity there, but well, <laughs> let's just say in a in a in a three three man race. Um, there are favorites. There are obvious uh, favorites. Um, and yes. there are clear, clear people. Underdogs? Do you yeah. think these are going to be an underdog? <laughs> Again, I'm scared nah. of the vote at the end of the day. So for those young people out there, if if please, please, 
use use your use your brain, use your brain, use your brain. Uh, okay, if you remember that reference, you also know how old we are. Oh uh, my god, <laughs> oh, that was sing very sus. Brain, brain, use your brain. Okay, uh, vote carefully, vote properly. Don't spoil your vote. Um, and don't yes. spoil it. I mean, please don't be try to be funny. Like I waste your time there. You're gonna queue up anyway. Like, here's the thing. People always ask me, what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you have a clown in power. Exactly. Someone you're not proud of, someone who is going to get like, laughed at. Like, imagine when you go to other countries, oh, you're that, you're that country oh, that... You're that, 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 that like, you're uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. So on that, on, on that note, I think uh, we're quite clear on where we stand, you and I. Um, yeah. As much as I like to say, I'm very apolitical. Folks out there who, who know me personally for very long, I refuse to talk politics. I refuse to talk about anything political. But I think uh, in, in this particular uh, scenario today with, with the PEs just around the corner... Two more days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a couple more days. A couple more days. So hopefully we can get this uploaded um, and, and posted uh, and let's see how best we can do it. I mean, any any closing words you want to say before we end for this? Uh, I mean, it's been some time, right? And I think for all of us, it's August now. It's really, really moving quite quick this year. So many things happening. So I hope everyone stay safe, be responsible, and at the same time, care for each other. Oh, nice. So, this look at this look at that is again. Your plane needs your plane needs your plane. Enjoy the polling day coming soon. Vote with your mind, vote with your heart. Be and as you can sleep at night, cast the vote that lets you sleep at night. Okay, yeah. so this is Afik from Modern Muslim Finance. In short, I will see you all soon. This is my brother from another mother, Amin, head of CMO Media Labs. We'll see you at the next one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.